Hi friends, my name is Clint Hoagland and this is Creating Electronic Music with Chuck. Last time I showed you how to save a WAV file to your file system, but we also saw a limitation of Miniautical where it can only can go to one place. So I want to show you this time how to run your Chuck scripts on the command line so that you can choose which directory things go to. Now, when we first installed Chuck, I showed you that you can uh, access Chuck on the command line just by typing in the word Chuck because it installed itself on your path. Now, that can be useful if you have an existing Chuck file and you know where it is, but how do you uh, create the Chuck file to run? So that's why I had you install Visual Studio Code a couple of tutorials ago. Let's go to that application. All right, I'm going to hit Control-N, and then I'm going to... Uh, t type in another console logging line to say this is on the command line. Not great at typing, sorry. And then I'm going to save as sure. Um, I'm not going to name it that. I'm going to name it, let's say, line .ck. If you save something as a .ck file, then Chuck will know what to do with it. Now, if you, uh, inside Visual Studio Code, you can uh, open up the, the command line by doing a new terminal, which is Control Shift, and then the thing to the left of your one button. Or if you're not a uh, hotkey person as I am, you can just click right here. And then we can change the directory to this thing that we have up here, which is I'm going to do a CD to C projects presentations Chuck and see how it's changed the directory there. Now, if I do a uh, hmm, the DIR, is I do that? Yep, you can see how it saved a line.ck in here. Now, if I do chuck, type chuck, space, line, dot ck, it printed it out to the console just like it would have where, uh, where were we inside the mini article and that would have put that on the, uh, in the console window. Now it just printed it to your command line. Let's go back and we'll make our standard sound test here. We'll, once again, we'll, we'll set our frequency to start freak and we'll do 0 0.5 ds dot gain and we'll type one second going to now, which I still haven't explained. We'll still get to that and I'll save it up. I'll hit my arrow up key to do the same thing I did a second ago, and let's run it and see what happens. It, we heard the sine wave just like worry in the mini article. So that demonstrates that you can run these things in on your command line inside VS Code, which might be a little bit nicer than doing it inside mini article for a couple of reasons. The My favorite reason is that you get text out of completion, which is a, a little like lifestyle convenience, but it gets really convenient after a while if you're... If, I, the thing where like you start typing and then it says like, Hey, do you want to complete it with this word? I love that so much. Cause I'm very lazy. And also, uh, it helps you do like file management stuff, which I also like it, You can like set up folders and view them inside VS code. And I find that to be out very convenient also. Uh, so th maybe we'll have another tutorial at some point that compares and contrasts why you'd want to do mini article versus, uh, running things on the command line inside VS code. But my preference is to do things inside VS code. Now, one thing that you won't get by default, which you might have noticed is happening on my uh, VS Code window, is that I've got syntax highlighting happening, where like the text, is, this string text is one color, and these reserved words are a different color, and these uh, members are different different color. Uh, that's really helpful and convenient, um, and it does, you don't get it by default. But the way you can get it is by clicking on this thing here, which is the extension manager, and then if you search for Chuck, there is a helpful extension for syntax highlighting in Chuck. Uh, thanks 
to Forrest Cahoon, whoever that is, uh, but uh, I've installed that and it works great and I recommend that you do it too. Thanks for watching. The next video is going to be about the now operator and how Chuck works with time.